What's going on today? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday the 21st. I am back up on the roof again. See, I'm back up on this beautiful roof. I love being up here because I feel so much at peace up here on the roof looking at the sun. Look at the beautiful sun. I don't know if you guys can see. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's setting. I always come up here during the sunset or during the sunrise. I think it's just lovely. I just wanted to say a quick hello to you guys. Um, let you know how things have been going with me. Things are fantastic. I'm still loving my house. Uh, I am, Oh, yeah, that's right. I was in that program called Forever I was telling you about. Yes, and I know that I promised you my picture. I'm going to show you my picture. I'm just a little bit embarrassed. It's a little bit embarrassing showing you. My big body. <laughs> no, but I have to do it. You know what? I got to face my fear. This is what I got to do. I, I, this is my new motto for this, for, the, for this year. 2018, face your fear. You need to face your fears so you can, can face anything. And when you face your fears, you can face anything in life. So let's do it. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm just enjoying the sunset. You guys are enjoying it with me. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah, I took, for the first three days, I didn't eat very much, but they fill you up with this aloe vera juice. It comes in two containers, uh, two liters, two different containers, and you drink it with um, this special, um, like a powdered vitamin, and they give you some pills, and the pills are to kind of like suppress your appetite so you don't feel so hungry. And you got to drink tons and tons of water, which I love. So, I mean, I feel so different from this, uh, from forever. And I will get more into it with you guys so you guys can know what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, so <laughs> I think it works. I love it. I love, I because, I, I mean, I've been into other projects or other, other programs before. Uh, I really didn't like it. But this one, I really do have a good feeling about. And... Um, I mean, this might turn into something really big. I might even, because uh, they do on, they, they go on conventions. They're going to go to Madrid, Portugal, I think Los Angeles, places like that. And uh, I'll go along with them. So when I'm not working, this is something to, to fall back on. At least I'm, you know, I wouldn't just only be singing. I mean, this is what I do right now is singing. But I'd also be singing with the, at the conventions when I go. So I'll be also a, a seller. Not really a seller. I can't even say that. They, they said it's not actually selling. It's just trying to help people. And I told you that my dream is to help people. And if this is a way of helping people, along with my beliefs and helping people learn how to meditate and teaching people about crystals and all these things, then so be it. If I can add that to it and I can help people improve their lives the way I improved mine, then so be it. But, um, yeah, so I, I've tried to help people with their lives ever since I had gotten that breast cancer. I felt so inspired to help other people, really help out other people, because I know I have a lot of friends that have cancer. Matter of fact, I'd like to dedicate this video to a beautiful woman by the name of Linda. It's funny, I never met Linda, but I know her son very well. And her son is a very, very good friend of mine. And uh, I remember he came to me and he told me, you know, Damien came to me and told me that his mom was, was diagnosed with cancer, with throat cancer. And seeing that I, I've helped a few people before, I went and I actually sat down and talked to them and tried to inspire them that to have a positive mind, positive attitude about and this, about everything and, and just know that you're not, you're not going anywhere, you're not going to die. To be positive and to, you know, I, I even came to the point where I didn't even remember that I had it, so that I had breast cancer when I had it. I just completely threw it out of my mind, so I was trying to help people, you know, with my crystals because the crystals helped me a lot as well. I used to put this piece of amber in my, in my bra where the cancer was. The amber 
like absorbs the sickness. I don't know how it does it, but it has energy in all these crystals. Amber is not exactly a crystal, but they consider it to be like a crystal. And it just drew out all of the sicknesses and the toxins out of my body. And I was just trying to talk to her. I text her, sometimes I'd call her, well, mostly text her. But things didn't go well. And today, actually she died yesterday. She died of throat cancer and the throat cancer went to her head. Um, she died in Manchester. So this one goes out to you, Linda. Goes out to you and um, God bless your soul. Rest in paradise, my love. Until, you know, you'll see your, you'll see your sons again. I promise you. I tried to help her. I felt so bad that I couldn't do anything for her. But I have helped out other people and they have I've helped out people that have been um, people that have been diagnosed um, with uh, level four cancers and things, and I told them, don't even think about it. Sometimes you have to can't really, really believe in these doctors. I hate to say that, not all the time. I mean, yes, they did help me, but I also helped myself. So I try to teach people that. So anyway, this one is for Linda. Linda, rest in par paradise, sweetheart. And I wish I could have helped you. I really, really wish I could have helped you. But this one goes out to you, sweetheart. All right? And watch over your sons. Okay? I know that you'll be there for him, for Damien and his brother. All right. Well, anyway, just wanted to say have a beautiful, beautiful, well, the rest of the weekend, Sunday, so. And you guys are enjoying the sunset with me. Um... I love each and every one of you, and uh, I will put that picture up as soon as I can, all right? So you guys, peace, love, and light to you. Mm, sunlight, that is. Mm, peace. <laughs>